Hello guys, welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. In this video, I will show you how I adjust a photograph to be printed in 8x10 paper. Welcome back, guys. Have you ever come across that you need to print a photograph in an 8x10 paper and the photograph will not fit entirely? In other words, when you put the photograph in that piece of paper, it will not fill the entire paper. And when you zoom it, it will be cutting off or cropping parts of the photograph. In my opinion, that's not the way to do it. Cropping a photograph is not the best thing to do, again, in my opinion. So what I do is I adjust that photograph to fit in that paper so it will show the entire photo. I will show you in this video how I do it. So let's get straight to the point, go to the computer and see how it's done. Okay, guys, this is the first photograph I will be uh, adjusting for 8 by 10 printing. The problem we have here that this is a rectangular photo and 8 by 10 paper is not rectangular. So how you fit a rectangle in a square, you have to reduce it. That's my opinion. Otherwise, you will need to crop it. What I mean by crop is that if you want to adjust or make this photo an 8 by 10, you probably need to go to a cropping tool, right? This cropping tool here, set an 8 by 10 aspect ratio, 4 by 5, right? And this, this is the problem. You need to crop it. You need to move it to a place that you might want to fit the entire photo. And this is not the photograph I shot, for example. So that's not the way I do it. The way I do it is that simple. I need to fit this photograph entirely in an 8x10 uh, paper. It will have borders? Yes. So that's the way it is if the customer or you want an 8x10 and you want to keep the entire photograph that's the way you do it so let me show you how i do it first of all i need to uh, check some settings on this photograph uh, i go to image image size and over here i need to check the resolution of the photograph this is a export from lightroom so i exported this photograph in 300 uh, and resolution this is the uh, pixels per inches, right? So, but make sure that this number, you know, that is 300 or 150 or 240, whatever, uh, the picture, uh, resolution has, you need to memorize it. Why? Because then you need to go and create a new document. And this new document will have the size of the eight by 10 paper. So this is a portrait. So the width is going to be eight and the height is going to be 10 right and in here i need to change this resolution to 300 and then i create a, the document that's it for now i go back to the photograph get rid of the cropping tool go back to the photograph go to image image size and then the long side i will reduce it to 9.12 9.12 is a number i came with you know, I practice it, I test it, and this is the size I like the most. If you like it smaller or bigger, that's up to you, right? But this is the number I came with. So I will click OK. The photograph is going to be reduced. I click Control A in the keyboard to select everything. Control C to copy. And then I will switch to the new document. Control V to paste it. And the photograph is going to be in the middle right away. So this is the way to do it. You know, it will have borders. Yes. If you uh, send this photograph to a custom uh, frame maker, they will create a vignette around these white spaces. Or if you want to use a commercial available frame, it will also fit in an eight by 10 and will look great. All right. So the same will apply, will apply to a horizontal picture. So if I check this photograph, it also has a resolution of 300, okay? So now I will do the same process. File, new document, switch it to inches, and over here now the width is gonna be 10, and the height is gonna be eight. And the resolution has to be 300 because the photograph is at 300 
I create a new document, go back to the photograph, same process, uh, image size, and then the long side is going to be 9, 12. Control A to select all, Control C to copy, go back to the document, Control V to paste it, and there you have it, guys. All right? So that's the way I do it. I don't think that cropping a photograph is the option, but if you think that you want to fill the entire paper by cropping it, that's up to you. But this is the way I do it. Oh, two last things. The first one is why they need to match the resolutions. I will show you with, with an example. Let me bring another photograph in here. Now it's there. This photograph, if you, if you check the settings, it has a resolution of 150. Okay. And where is the portrait? Here's the portrait. Let me trash this layer. And this document is at 300. So I will keep this document at 300. So if I go through the same process, image size, and the long side is 9, 12. And I leave the resolution in 150 because the resolution of this photograph is 150 is smaller. Okay. So I click OK. The photograph is reduced. Control A, Control C, switch back to the document, Control V. And that's what is happening. Okay. It's going to be smaller because you are using a photograph that has, um, you know, smaller resolution and a bigger resolution. So you might think, okay, so I need to increase the resolution of the photograph. I say, no, you need to have this document match the resolution of the photograph. Otherwise you might uh, come across problems and, you know, distortion or pixelation when printing. Okay. So the way to, to fix it is simple. Let me trash this one. You change the resolution of this document to 150. Okay. Then control zero to fit in the, in the canvas. I switch back to the photograph again, control is reduced at 150 control a control C, and then go back to the document control V to paste. And there you have it. So that's the way I do it, guys. I hope you like it. Please share, like the video if you want to, and uh, I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. All right, guys, there you have it. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you like the borders or not? You don't care, whatever you want to say, but that's the way I do it. And that's the way I recommend you guys. If you are serious in photography, when you frame a photograph, that is the way you need to display it. So again, thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all. Bye.